you guys feel like tagging along, checking out some 3D printing, if I can get the car started. Arrived at home tech, and here we go. Get myself inside. There's a fancy Nancy key card thing. Alright, we're at the lab. Oh man. Looks like the molecules turned out well. See if I can just pop these right off. <coughs> that guy came right off. Big old hunk. I'm a little hesitant on this stuff because this other one's pretty thin. <laughs> oh man, I wish I got that on camera. Oh, I was just pushed on this one corner and then the whole thing just popped off and shot at me. But that actually looks pretty cool just like as is with the support material in there it kind of gives a little contrast to it. But uh, alright now we need to get rid of this and I'm not going to bother trying to pop any of that off because I'm probably going to end up breaking it. Start this guy warming up. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother breaking any of this off either because it's just, there's some uh, spheres in, down inside it a little bit. Like, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a little black dot on the bottom there. And so there's definitely one down there that needs to be soaked out. I won't be able to pop all that off. And in they go. See those guys in the morning. Well, tomorrow night, I bet. So I'm going to open the Insight program that we use with the Fortis Stratasys brand. I'm going to open, well I guess it's not a respell. I'm going to go ahead and open a die. It's going to be oversized because I didn't even care about the size when I built it. I just just modeled it as is. And got to scale this guy down quite a bit because I want it to be approximately the right size. But it was 19.05 uh, inches and uh, each uh, each length and uh, so then yep yeah, I just took uh, 0.75 divided by 19.05 and came up with 0.03937. And then so I scaled it down and now here after I've sliced it and created the tool paths this is what it looks like and it correctly shows 0.75 of an inch down there so did my math right now we will hit the two printer button and it will send us over to the control center that'll uh, let us put multiple die on a single board and print it out. So I'm just going to insert the C and B again. Oh, actually, looks like there's a copy button. I don't use this thing that often. So we'll just do two copies. Oh, that's not what I wanted, really? All right, well. That works. And I want to print them in this corner to be safe. Let's see, I'm going to go look at the board to see what space I have left to print on. Get a couple of these printed out, see how they turn out. Uh, both in black, I did full density. 
um, on both of them. I would rather have full density for helping with the lifespan of the die. I'm sure if it was hollow at all inside and someone accidentally stepped on it with shoes, maybe with feet too, it might crack. Um, I forgot which uh, side of the die is laying face down, but I might be able to just pop this apart and right off, not even soak it. See what happens. Now I will click build job and send it over to the printer. And after it merges the CMB and sends it over, I can exit out, start model, locked it up, that's what that big old click was, and I'm going to leave. Hey guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully I'll be doing more 3D prints, but it just depends on how often people want them. Uh, definitely stay tuned for uh, more flying. I don't know uh, the next time I'll get a new aircraft, but it probably won't be for a little while. So um, I'm going to continue to better my aerial photography with the 350QX.